spoon pop this into just deliciousness. So here are the herbs that I use. It's a total of chives, thyme, rosemary, parsley, oregano, and about eight or nine cloves of garlic. You can use less garlic if you want to. I think the more garlic, the better. Just don't talk to anybody after you eat. That's pretty much what it is. So what I'm showing you today is how to make a porchetta. I've heard it being called porchetta, porchetta. It's just rolled up pork cooked in deliciousness. Now here I'm putting it in my Vitamix blender. You can definitely use a food processor. I don't have one, I have a Vitamix. So I ordered this pork belly from my local meat uh, butcher or my local butcher. And here I am cutting the skin because I want that fat to drain out of the pork belly. You don't have to use pork belly. You can use a pork shoulder. You can use um, different types of cuts of pork to do this, but you still want to cut into that skin so that it gets crispy. Cut off any excess skin that's going to be inside of the pork when you roll it up. Otherwise, you're just going to have a little gummy mess on your hands. So what I'm doing right here is just cutting off the excess. I rolled it up and measured it and make sure that any excess is going to be on the inside. I'm cutting it off. I'm adding the herbs to the inside of the pork. You want to lay it out so that it's from end to end because you want that herb flavor on every end of this pork because pork takes up a lot of flavor. So here's where your pork twine or your chicken twine or just twine is going to come in. I usually tie the middle. So I'm tying it three on one end and three on the other. So I tie the top, the bottom, and the middle. And then I tie strings in the middle between those strings to make sure it's evenly tied from top to bottom. You can put as many strings as you want. It's totally up to you. But as you can see, this pork is being rolled up very nicely. So I want everything to kind of be cohesive and together so I'm tying two strings on the other two ends so it's together and that's what it looks like so I'm going to put this in the refrigerator overnight so it can drain any excess moisture on the skin because you want it to be crispy as possible so as you can see in the bottom of this pan is all the juices that dropped out I left them in there because the pork is not going to touch it I patted it dry and I'm sprinkling a little salt on this and I'm going to put it in my oven at 350 for an hour this is after an hour. I'm looking at the temperature to check it. You want it to get it to a turnout temperature about 160. Once it cools, it'll get to like 165 or so. So it's looking good so far. So right here is about two hours in. I upped it about an extra 20 degrees. So it's like at 370. So it took a total of three hours. I'm checking the internal temperature again because it's getting close. You don't want to overcook it. So this is about three hours in and it had been on 450 by this time. And it just, girl, look, look at the deliciousness on this. Listen. Just, just listen to it. Just listen. I was getting excited about this. It was completely done. It smelled delicious. It looked delicious. I was very excited about it. Okay. So pretty much what it was is you want that chicharron, which is the pork skin, whether you cook it as a pork butt or a pork shoulder. I cook pork belly. You want that to be crispy. You want to let it sit and let those juices just coagulate <laughs> properly with the inside of the pork. And then once it's cooled enough for you to touch, you're going to cut off the strings. And then you're going to chop it up and cook it with whatever you want, like a side of potatoes, side of rice, a salad, anything that you prefer with this. I cooked this today for the Mother's Day brunch, and we were going to make pork head sandwiches. And, you know, it was just off the hook delicious. Mm -hmm. And so this is the stuff that I put on my sandwich, which was the carrots, and this is the Parmesan garlic sauce that I picked up at Target. Um, I packed up the cilantro, the shredded, shredded carrots, cucumbers, and lemon slices that I cut up just to squeeze over my sandwich. I picked up this bread from a local Vietnamese shop. They sell it for like 75 cents a roll. This bread is so delicious. If you've ever had a, like a bun mi sandwich, 
this is the type of bread they use and it is absolutely delicious it's one of my favorite places to go to get bread if i'm going to make any type of subs or sandwiches so i cut up the bruschetta and i put the cucumbers the sauces the meals the carrots some onions a little bit extra garlic and that was it it was delicious i want to thank you for watching comment subscribe and share peace